Hello friends, we are going to draw a flow chart to read n numbers using an array. This is the logical start of the flow chart. Now I am reading the range. input n. n is the range. Next, I am declaring an array. Declare. Declare an array a. And n is the size of the array. So, A of N, an array, array, A with the size N. Next, I'm initializing I equal to 0, a variable I equal to 0. Next time checking a condition if I less than N. So I am checking if I less than N. If it is yes means means I am opening an input input A of I then getting an array input A of I next I am incrementing I by 1 i equal to i plus 1 and connect back to the decision statement. Okay, if it is no means when it is no, when i is not less than n, then the condition will become false or no means. This is the end of the flowchart. Now let us discuss how the flowchart works. Okay, I am setting a value declare n input n. I am giving n equal to four. Okay. Declare a of n. I am declaring an array with the size n. So my array size is four. My array size is so i equal to 0 i equal to 0 I am checking i less than n 0 less than 4 the condition is true then input a of i I am getting a value for a of 0 for example I am assigning a 1 for example I am giving a of 0 equal to 1 Next, i equal to i plus 1, i equal to 1 now, then I am checking 1 less than 4, the condition is true, I am inputting a of i, a of 1, I am giving you value 2, i equal to i plus 1, i equal to 2 now, 2 less than 4, the condition is true, then I am incrementing, ok, 2 less than 4, the condition is true, then I am inputting the array a of 
to I'm giving for example I'm giving input value 3 okay so assignment means I'm giving an input here okay then I equal to I plus 1 I is 3 now 3 less than 4 the condition is true then input a of i a of 3 I'm giving it as a 4 okay now i equal to i plus 1 i is become 4 now 4 less than 4 is false the flow chart will end so what I did I'm having a set of arrays okay set of array it's like this an array if you take array my intention is to store n numbers how many numbers to store four numbers array index question starts from zero so zero the next question what I store I store the value one then index question okay next loop index question one I store the value index question one I store the value two next index question two I store the value three next index question three I store the value four so four elements next question zero one two three so zero to three an array starts from zero it ends, ends from n minus one so zero to three I have stored the four elements that's it this is the way we can use arrays in the flowchart in the forthcoming videos, we are going to discuss uh, so many problems. Now we have uh, only obtain an input. Next video, we are going to discuss how to obtain an input and as well as how to display it in the result. Uh, that's it. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel, share, comment and press the bell button. Thank you.